Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll mark day 7 of my 75 hard challenge. This is more of a POV shot kind of video while I'm out here enjoying a nice walk with my dog. I'm not going to give much of a workout video today because today I don't go to the gym. I rest on Sundays, I train 6 days a week. I train Monday through Saturday so tomorrow I'll hit you guys up with a nice push day but um, today I kind of wanted to do something different for my channel kind of introduction I just kind of want to initially make my channel primarily just the uh, 75 hard but I think I'm gonna do something new for Sunday specifically and that's probably going to include walks with Penny the Killer Pit over here. So I just want to answer a few questions, not that was asked to me, but questions that I'm sure many of you might have or question that might pop to your head as you're watching this video. Not right there. Boston Museum. What's the meaning behind the name? I hope many of you are Muse fans because uh, Muscle Museum is actually a song. Um, it's a song in the, uh, the Showbiz album from Muse, um, one of my favorite albums. But um, I, the, the reason I call it Muscle Museum is because not only is it a great song, but um, your body is a museum of muscles. You know, when you go to a museum, you you, you got uh, yeah, you got the history, and you got the you got uh, like space. You got like uh, what else is out there? You got your space, and uh, I think the body is a good representation of that. Your body's a museum. You got your arms. You got the triceps. You got the biceps. You got the chest. You got the legs. You got the glutes. You got the abs. You got these various muscle groups and well it's all into one person one unit one body one museum and um, I'm just here to educate you guys on nutrition and the workout aspects of them and how to basically ultimately build your true Vitruvian man uh, or woman um, but we'll get into that later so yeah that's uh, the meaning behind the name and I uh, hope you guys dig it. Next question you guys may have is, who am I? Well, you guys can call me Muscles for short, but I'm 25 years old. I don't live in a predominantly very safe place. Um, I do live in the U.S. Um, it's not uncommon to hear about, uh, you know, crimes around this area. It's unfortunate, but, you know, my point of this channel is to kind of pretty much do the unthinkable and push yourselves to your limits um not to get too graphic i do want this to appeal to everyone but i could get shot at this very moment <laughs> but um i need to get my steps in i need to get my cardio and i need to walk my dog she is uh she she has lots of energy she needs to be walked all right i uh, i'm not afraid and I'm here to making the best of it. It's a beautiful day, kinda. So yeah, um, I've been going to the gym since I was 16. Uh, granted, it has been on and off. Um, we'll get into that more when I tell you more about myself. But just know that I definitely have some sort of credibility on my knowledge on fitness and nutrition. I definitely have done from keto to uh, low carb to uh you know the carnivore the vegan diet i was vegetarian for a while actually when i was uh, 18. uh gluten-free stuff you know I, I used to do that stuff and well i can tell you what really works right um now i know the proof is in the pudding maybe i don't have as jacked arms as these fitness influencers may have and you know, I hope that you guys have some sort of um, genuine curiosity as to what I have to say. I want you guys to know that. Oh, almost died there. Yeah, dude. Why should you guys take my advice? Well, 
because I, I don't I don't have a huh why should you guys take my advice for starters I'm a hundred percent natural all right and and I think in today's age of fitness that puts me way above everyone else um, not to get too controversial or maybe you know what this will be my first topic for this video actually for the Sunday vlogs Muscle museum every Sunday catch me you know what I mean I'm gonna talk about something controversial so here we go steroid use everybody has thought about using steroids everybody and um, I never touched it I never used TRT um, or hormone replacement therapy I will say this though I tried Turkestrone I tried um, ashwagandha I've tried Tangatali you know these various herbs that you'll find in GNC's like male enhancement man heart cocks you know shit like that and sure I've taken them and, and I've the only difference I see was how much smaller my bank accounts was getting and just um how broke I was and I mean it's, it's because it's very anecdotal it might work for some but it didn't work much for me for example I was on turkestrone for about three months taking it very consistent and I will say this my bench press went up but I was also eating correctly no cheat meals I don't drink so I didn't take alcohol I don't smoke anything I don't do drugs and um, you know I had my high protein high carbs water intake was way above a gallon I did just about everything right and I was also uh, double scooped pre-workout in and you know I had uh, the rock and roll music depth tones blasting in my ear so I hit a PR almost you know every other week was it the tercestrone I don't know you got to have a good foundation first before you can make any sort of data. Look, what I'm trying to say is that I think... No, we're not eating that. We're cutting. Damn pizza crust. The fitness community and, and the influencers we got today as far as 2024... As far as 2024 goes, the fitness influencers have lost their credibility. Alright? I mean... God, it's, it's, it's funny because I follow a few. We all do, right? Just to name a few, right? Jeff Cavalier, good guy, right? I think I've been following him since I was 16. My brother introduced me to him, in fact. And I, I, believe, I believe he's natural. But you, you got people like Coach Mar uh, Mario Rios just kind of uh, explicitly just, just calling this guy out on being fake natty and stuff. By the way, I kind of like his guy's content. I, uh, I th actually think he's funny and <laughs> I actually support some of his claims in terms of a lifting belt. You guys have seen me use a lifting belt and um, he might even call me pussy for that. But um, listen, I've been in a few car accidents. I don't have the best back to put 315 and to squat down and try to get as much depth as possible. Um, but I, I do like Mario Rios. Uh, he's a funny guy. I also like his uh, his one competitor who just does like real satire on. Uh, <laughs> I can't get the name off the top of my head right now, but um, he's funny. <laughs> he's like, he's like. This is why Nick Smith is a super functionally optimally uh, athlete or something. <laughs> Fuck it, love that guy. Um, I, I've been following the Hodge twins for forever. I've always got their fitness advice from them. I believe they're natural. 100% I think they're natural. Um, obviously, now they're not doing fit fitness content anymore. They are towards more of the conservative side on politics, and, and uh, they're very vocal about it. And um, I think another reason that sets me apart from everybody is my charisma. I think I have very, very good charisma. If you guys got to know me, I'm probably one of the funniest peoples I know. Um, I'm also extremely handsome, but you guys won't know that. Well, maybe at the end of the 75 hard challenge, I'll do a face reveal. <laughs> and I'll also do a physique re uh, reveal. Cause like I said, I know most of my credibility is going to not only come from my knowledge and experience, but rather more the actual physical uh, result 
how can I tell you guys to, you guys should eat uh, this many grams of carbs or something before a workout if I don't look the part. You can't expect Jabba the Hutt to give you the advice on how to get six ripped abs, right? So six pack abs, you can't. So at the moment right now, I will say this, I just finished the bulk. Um, I'm right now I'm at 210. I don't know if it seems like it, but I, I'm definitely up at uh, I'm sorry not 210. That's when the bulk ended All right, um, since the 75 heart challenge. I'm now down to 200 And that could be water weight a loss of glycogen all of that stuff You're going to lose weight pretty quick the first week or two and it's pr primarily just gonna be water, right? You're not losing muscle or fat I'm in a caloric deficit. I'm here trying to get my steps in, right? I'm here making the best of this weather. And uh, when I get home, I will be jump roping. I hope that answers some questions. I hope I laid a very good foundation about what this channel means to me. And uh, well, I'll answer one more question, just one more. What is my goal for this, with this channel? My goal for this channel is to change fitness and and making it as raw as possible and i won't like here's an example you know what i really hate i hate seeing on social media like what i eat in a day and these these these, these pretty little fucking meals that like you can only get on clip art or something it blows my mind how it's fake they'll they'll put the strawberries all nice and aligned with the oats and the it's just i'm going to show you the real like the the the, the protein sludge right the chocolate chips with the PB Fit and stuff, that didn't look pretty. It was sure as hell tasty, but it wasn't pretty. The reason why I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to make things fake. I want to be as authentic as possible because the authenticity in the fitness community has gone to shit. So that's my goal with this channel, to just be as authentic as possible because I think authenticity will give me more of credibility. So... And I think what makes my channel very authentic is just how raw I'm going to be with this 75 hard challenge. If I can complete 75 hard, I think that goes above and beyond than most fitness influencers injecting steroids, getting six pack abs, oiling themselves up, standing under a light, posing, and then tells you buy my program. I'm gonna tell you how it is. And right now I'm just trying to get through this 75 hard make this year my year all right thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go home now look at this graveyard i wanted to say one thing right graveyards kind of freak people out sure they do but it's a reminder you know you know how many gravestones are in here there, there are people there's like i mean at least like a few hundred in there and they're all buried and they might not be thinking I enjoyed my life. Or maybe they are. I mean, who knows? But when I die, I want to leave behind a legacy. I want to leave behind something to be remembered by. And I want some sort of generational wealth to be passed down on and on and on. All right. I'm going to rule this world. You guys can, you know, mock my words now, but... I, I, the world will fall in my possession and I believe the hard work I'm going to be putting into this year will 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 result of that all right thanks for watching guys I hope you guys enjoyed this mini vlog maybe I can put this GoPro on my head and like cook meals for you guys if that's what you're interested in you could definitely drop a uh, comments below and I'll do that for you um, yeah guys I don't know how to close the video usually uh anyway Stay tuned, guys. Let's make this year our year.